Hello everyone, welcome to English with Teacher SD's channel. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. Before starting, please click on the subscribe button to get new videos. English grammar, the past continuous. First, we're going to have a review of verb to be in the past. 2. Examples 3. The form of the past continuous 4. The spelling changes 5. Short answers with past continuous 6. The uses of the past continuous and 7. The adverbs of time that we use with the past continuous So let's start with a review of verb to be in the simple past. Verb to be in the simple past. Affirmative. I was. You were. He was. She was. It was. We were. You were. They were. Negative. I wasn't. You weren't. He wasn't. She wasn't. It wasn't. We weren't. You weren't. They weren't. Interrogative. Was I? Were you? Was he? Was she? Was it? Were we? Were you? Were they? So you can check the videos in my channel in which I talked about verb to be in the past tense. Let's have a look at these examples. Number one. Caroline was skiing when she broke her leg. Two, I was making dinner when she arrived. Three, my friends were talking on the phone. Four, they were waiting for the bus when the accident happened. The form of the past continuous. The past continuous is made from the past tense of verb B plus the base form of the verb plus ing. So have a look at the affirmative form. Say, I was reading. We, you, and they were reading. He, she, it was reading. Negative form. I was not working. You, we, they were not working. He, she, and it was not working. Again, let's have a look at note number one. Was not, this is the long form. The short form is wasn't. Note two, were not, this is the long form. The short form of it is weren't. Three, the interrogative form. Was I working? Were you working? Were we working? Were they working? Was he working? Was she working? Was it working? The spelling changes in the past continuous. Spelling rule one. Verbs ending with E, we omit the E and add ING. For example, come, come in, write, write in, 
drive, drive in. Spelling rule two, verbs ending with WE, we add ING. Examples, agree, agreeing, see, seeing. Spelling rule number three, verbs ending with a consonant preceded by a vowel, we double the consonant. For example, sit, sit in, shop, shopping, cat, cat in. So the last letter in verb sit is T, which is a consonant and it's preceded, which means before it we have an I, which is a vowel. So we double the T, then we add I in G. The same thing concerning number two. We have shop. The last letter is P, and before it we have an O, which is a vowel. So we double the P, and we add I in G. The last one, cat. The last letter is T, which is a consonant. Before it we have U, which is a vowel. So we double the T and we add ING. Spelling rule number four. Verbs ending with IE, we omit IE and replace it with Y. Example. Here we have verb lie. The last two letters are IE. So here, this IE changes to Y, then we add the ING. Questions and short answers with the past continuous. Dialogue number one. Were they doing their exercises? Yes, they were. This is positive answer. No, they weren't. Negative answer. Dialogue number two. Was she writing a letter? Yes, she was. Positive answer. No, she wasn't. Negative answer. When do we use the past continuous? We use the past continuous to talk about something which happened before and after another action. For example, the children were doing their homework when I got home. Two, for something that happened before and after a specific time. Example, it was eight o'clock. I was writing a letter. Three, a temporary activity in the past interrupted by a short action in which we use the past simple. For example, I was doing my exercises when my father came in. Here, we have two verbs, we have was doing and we have came. In the first one, was doing, we use the past continuous and came, we have the simple past. Because in the first action, which is I was doing my exercises, it's interrupted by another action, which is came, my father came home. Which means the action which, which takes long time takes the past continuous and the action that breaks it takes the simple past because it is a short action. What are the adverbs of time of past continuous? Adverbs of time that we use in the past continuous are all of time in the past tense at 4 o'clock, when, all day yesterday, while, as, when, follows, simple past tense, and while, 
follows past continuous tense. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe button. You can leave comments if you need more clarification. بتنساوش تعملو سبسكرايب في القناة و لايك لهاد الفيديو و الى عندكم شي حاجة ماشي واضحة ممكن تخليها في المكان المخصص للتعليقات see you with another video